first, I want to dive into the 2019 Tour de France stage one, because we are going to be broadcasting the entire 2019 Tour de France in its entirety to our subscribers in Canada starting this Saturday, June 6th. It's running through June 26th. And we want to break down this uh, stage one sprint because it was it was a surprising tour. It was uh, ups and downs, lots of, uh, yeah, nobody really expected the twists and turns that came in this Tour de France and started with the very first stage. I guess we were expecting a crash. That was the one thing that everybody knew was going to happen in stage one. A big crash with one and a half kilometers to go. Takes down Jumbo Visma's Dylan Gronewegen um, <laughs> really badly. I mean, he sprawled across the road. One of the favorites for this rate for this sprint, of course, Tour de France, a field full of the best sprinters in the world. But Yamo Visma was not was not done. I mean, in a kilometer and a half, they regrouped and got back to the front. Yeah, and Yumbo Visma ended up really being the story of the tour. They with a rider that nobody expected, you know, we saw uh, Dylan Gronenwegen on the ground. He was their uh, number one Dossard for the tour. He was their hope for the sprints. You know, second in line was Wout van Aert, but Wout van Aert was, ended up uh, on lead out duty for Mike Tunison, young, super talented, former U23 world champion cyclocross rider. Nobody's doubting his talent, but you think about him versus Wout van Aert and, you know, nobody really thought that there would be a, competition in the pecking order but Mike Tunison with about 500 meters to go he was far back in the peloton he just teleported himself up to the wheel of Wout van Aert Wout van Aert a very very astute aware racer knew that Tunison was on and moved him up into you know a stone's throw of Peter Sagan who had a pretty easy ride to the finish line and it was a hard Bought like pretty much four up sprint to the line. Yeah, I I love this, and I think it shows how um, how well prepared Yumbo Visma was just overall coming into this tour. How much they, you know, there there was the drama about the the use of ketones, um, which I think has has more or less been uh, not 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 as dramatic as we we might have thought at the time during the twenty nineteen tour. But yeah, I mean, they showed up ready to race and and Mike Tunison from stage one um, just put it out there. You know, you, you'd like to say like, oh, this was an incredible bike throw. This was this, this was that. He was just stronger. He was the strongest rider over the last 150 meters of this race. He was the, the strongest rider in the last kilometer of this race. Right, over the best riders in the world. And yeah, to get Peter Sagan on a bike throw at the line. It just shows how deep, how talented this entire Yumbo Visma squad was that the guy that ends up winning the race is not even, you know, like you said, maybe third in line um, in the sprint train. Yeah, and it just set it up for a really wonderful tour for Yumbo Visma that we would see in the subsequent days. So uh, please do tune in if you're in Canada for the live uh, broadcast of the 2019 tour. If you are in the us and do not have access to watch the live streams we're going to be coming out with heaps of content throughout this entire three-week broadcast with uh, footage that you'll have never seen before content with uh interviews with riders we're going to be talking to mike tunison about this stage one victory uh you, you can watch that in the u.s so please do stay tuned lots of tour de france content coming out in anticipation of the 2020 tour which you know as far as we know is looking very good to actually happen in august